did almost forget that my favorite place in school is probably right in here. Honestly, I I sit in here, right here, usually when the class is being really loud, and I just sit in here and either listen to music or just think. I, I think it's quiet in here. I think it's peaceful. I think it's private. And, you know, a lot of memories in here. So, like, this will probably be one of the more difficult ones to do. Um, my name is Marshall Tempest. I'm a senior at Apopka High School, class of 2018. And uh, my plan for next year is to attend Santa Fe Community College. I have no idea what I'm going to be studying and or, well, anything. Now, what was the hardest thing about the last four years? <laughs> now, my first two years, there really wasn't that much of a problem, but my last two has definitely been a problem of just getting to class. Showing up has definitely been a problem. And before that, it was doing work that I didn't want to do because, you know, all of high school is busy work. So, what advice do I have for underclassmen? <laughs> you know, there's there's a lot that happens in the in, in the next four years that uh, defines who you are and how you deal with what you're doing right now is is who you're going to be and the the best thing I can tell you to do is cut off the people that are causing you stress and causing problems in your life because in the end you're not going to know these people like right now I'm going through the, the thing in my head that I'm not going to know any of these people in six months and in a year I'm not going to know anything about what they're doing or anything about who they are at this point in their lives and that's just something you got to remember that's going to be at the end of the road What was your most memorable moment from high school? Um, my most memorable moment, I've had a lot, a lot of bad moments, a lot of good moments, but uh, my most memorable is definitely uh, feeling the difference between being in love and just liking somebody, I guess was the most memorable thing for me. Now, what is something you learned in high school that you did not learn in a classroom? Uh, the people that you got your back are the ones that have the cleanest shot at you because you're not looking. And um, don't, don't lose yourself over somebody else. <laughs> and there is a difference between love and lust. <sighs> what are you going to miss about high school? <laughs> I'm gonna miss uh, being able to make a joke out of every situation, no matter if it's supposed to be funny or not. <laughs> I'm gonna miss the people that surround me every day, even though I hate <laughs> all of you just as much as I love you. And most of all, I'm just gonna miss teachers that were actually really mentors more than instructors. I don't know, what was the stupidest thing I did in high school? Um, yet again, uh, I'm full of bad decisions. Just, you know, look at, look at my rap sheet, my history. But uh, my stupidest decision I'd have to say is uh,
being involved in a uh, a relationship where there was there was cheating taking place that was definitely a big regret for me <laughs> because I wouldn't want to be on the other side of that at all If you could go back and change anything that happened in high school, what would it be and why? Um, one thing over all of them, it would probably be my attitude towards people when other people are around and me changing who I am and how I talk to people when other people are around. Because I hate that in other people and I can't imagine myself doing it yet I do <laughs> but you know who is the teacher you remember most and why I mean you know there's, there's going to be multiple teachers that I remember but most memorable being Scale and Mellon who have always been there for me and it really doesn't feel much like they're my teacher. It feels like someone I can go to to talk to. And it uh, it's more than what I could have ever hoped for from just being a student in somebody's classroom. <laughs> uh, now, where do I think I will be in 10 years as I get ready for my 10-year high school reunion? Dude. <laughs> People ask me where I'm going to be all the time, and I have no idea what I'm doing in 10 minutes. I have no plan. I have I, I don't know where I'm going to be at. I don't even see a place for me to be at, honestly. And uh, it, it's a lot because people say that I'm so good at all these things, and I can't see myself prospering in any one of these but you know let's see um now what was my most memorable moment from the dnn um my most memorable moment from the dnn is uh being in the broadcast room right here with uh with a with a girl that was in the classroom with me my junior year and she wanted to go a little too far while no one was looking and uh it was a bad decision so we ended up not doing that but definitely a really memorable moment when uh she was being very aggressive towards me <laughs> we'll cut that there but what was the funniest thing that happened from the DNN class? The funniest thing that happened. The funniest thing, I mean, everyone finding out about me and Megan and constantly torturing us about it. But I mean, as much as it was a pain in the ass, it was a great time, you know? And it, it was funny. It was, <laughs> it was all jokes. Let's see. Uh, what is one thing Scahill said slash did in the DNN class? Um, one thing that sticks out more than another, I would uh, talk to Scahill about my parents and my family. And uh, he, would, he would just tell me that everything's gonna be okay. And he, he knows that I'm just a good kid in the wrong place right now and that that uh, that's something I can always think about. Who do I want to thank? Who do I want to thank? Let's see. First, I'd like to thank all my homies. You know, I got ones that have been here through all the high school. I got uh, Lewis, you know, my brother. Henry, uh, you know, the boy, you know, and maybe not everybody's here, but uh, Alyssa was still a homie. Um, new friends, Peter, as always, you know, just, I got uh, 
Sam. Shout out Polar God. And then, you know, to the teachers, shout out Melon. And uh, I just want to thank you for always being there. Same thing with Scale. You can always keep cutting me slack when I know you, you knew I could do better and you knew I was messing up. <laughs> I'd like to thank a lot of other people, but I just don't think this is the place for it. Uh, and how do I want you to remember me? I mean, I don't know. It's all up to your interpretation, I guess. You guys all knew me when I was here. And if it, it, I'd love to remember me as the funny guy that always can make you laugh. Because that's all I'm really trying to do. Even if I'm being an asshole. My goal is to make somebody laugh, whether it's me or somebody else. And that's really all I got. And, <laughs> you know, this this has been a good year. There's been a lot, of, a lot of challenges and obstacles in my way. I feel like I, uh, I've definitely rose to the challenge. We'll see uh, how it all ends out, though, right? If I graduate. I mean, you'll know. You're watching. All right. Hey, I'm Gracie Darlington. I'm a senior at Apopka High School, and this is my video day. Don't know if you're supposed to do an intro, but there was one. So, questions. What was the best thing of 2017 for you? Um, I would say I got to go on a week-long mission trip to Haiti this summer, um, which I've been looking forward to for a really long time. Had been a goal of mine to go overseas um, to serve and love on people for Jesus before I graduated, so that was kind of a long awaited goal. Got to go um, with some really cool people from Jacksonville. Um, by myself, didn't know anyone until I got there, so it was very independent and adventurous for me. Um, and then they're just a beautiful people in a beautiful country and just got to do some really cool things and watch God move. So um, that was top of the list for 2017. And um, some, uh, really, some other cool things that I really got to do this summer with camps and everything, but that was definitely number one. And secondly, would be getting accepted to Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary, which is where I'm wanting to go to college. So just getting that um, next step nailed down with acceptance was cool. Worst thing that happened in 2017, um, kind of like, I don't know, not mediocre, but you know, a little bit more insignificant compared to like going to Haiti and stuff, but and getting into college. But um, because I am such a competitive person and um, at being a senior and being invested in our school uh, I was really disappointed in the football season um, no shade of my dad I love or Jackson I just love a popka and I really wanted us to do well um, and we did we did well I just wanted to make a shot for state before I before I left and while I was officially a blue darter so I'll forgive him but that was probably one of the worst things in 2017 don't kill me when y'all watch this uh, apologize for the weird noises in the back. My uh, brothers, one or both of them, are probably playing Fortnite or 2K or FIFA or something. And I can't get away from them and they make a lot of noise. So, how's the school year going? Um, I would say good. For me, a lot of my... Uh, oh, goodness Lord. Um, for me, a lot of my stressful uh, or, like, you know, big responsibilities are over and they went well. So, uh, school-wise, um, clubs and everything. So, we're, we're good. We're good. We're chill now. How were your holidays, and what was one thing that was that happened to you that was good? My holidays were really good. I um, specifically Christmas. I mean, I think that's what we're talking about. So, uh, Thanksgiving was good too. But um, Christmas was fun because I got to see all my siblings, the ones that I've. Um, I'm the oldest one at home, so I have three that have moved out. So they all got to come home. Um, Zach, Ty, and Molly. So that was fun. Um, Ty and Zach missed each other by a few days, but just because of football responsibilities but it was cool and then one good thing that happened to me over the holidays was um I was in on the secret like a day or two before but uh, my oldest brother Ty had told us he wasn't coming home and then ended up surprising my mom at uh, our uh, like faculty staff coaches party um with everyone there and she was crying it was really cute so um that was really fun to have him surprise us like that what did I do on New Year's Eve so I was actually about to take off for a um 
three-day trip up to um, Atlanta for Passion Conference, which is like a college conference for um, high school seniors and college kids. Um, at the, not at the Georgia Dome, at the Infinity Arena is where we went. And that started on, we left at like cracking on on New Year's, so I didn't really do anything on New Year's Eve. I'm pretty sure that I was packing when, you know, the year rolled over. I remember being like, oh, this is fun. But, um, yeah, so I was packing for passion. Worth it, for sure. Um, best song of 2017. So, uh, I feel like it's been so long and I can't, re I can't remember what all came out in 2017 and what was before what was after so I'm just gonna go with um two songs that I can think of off the top of my head that um really were helpful to me in a lot of seasons um one of them was a song called Beautiful Story by Mia Felis um one of them and then the other one was I'm actually called Seasons by Hillsong for uh, from their Peace Project their Christmas album so those are two of my favorite Christian songs that um, came out. I feel like I'm missing a lot of them um, that I listened to, so shout out to the ones I'm missing. I'm sorry. Um, best movie of 2017. I feel like a lot, a lot of good movies came out in 2017. Top two were Star Wars The Last Jedi. Um, all my video diaries have a star. I'm pretty sure I said Star Wars in every one of them, so I'm sorry, but I'm a fanatic for sure. It's, it's kind of unhealthy, but Last Jedi was fantastic. Um, and then also The Greatest Showman, I'm pretty sure it came out in December. So I saw that one, loved it. Like I know all the lyrics, like can't remember a time where I went and listened to a soundtrack like I did for The Greatest Showman. So that, I'm pretty sure that was 2017. That one was hype. Um, also, what plans do you have for the summer of 2018? Um, this summer I just kind of chilling, getting ready for college. Um, have a few church camps I'll be going to. Um, probably go visit my sister Molly in North Carolina. Um, I, and last summer I was like gone every weekend. So just kind of chilling and getting ready to move. So it's been a time with family, time with friends. Get ready for college. So, uh, if you will not be at Apopka High School, where will you be next year? I will not be at Apopka High School. Praise the Lord. Um, but I'll be at, um, the goal, the plan, is to be at Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary in Fort Worth, Texas, um, starting as a freshman there to get my bachelor's. So that's the plan. And what is going to be the hardest thing between now and the end of school? Finishing, and finishing well, and not falling victim to senioritis. That will be the hardest thing, because I'm tired. I'm very tired. Like, we're a few days away from spring break right now, and I, I can't. I can't. I can't force myself to go to school. I have been going. But it's been a struggle for sure. And I'm just afraid that this next nine weeks is going to be really bad. I, I don't think that I'll actually give in. But it's I'm going to hate it all the while. So just that I would finish strong. So senioritis is the hardest thing from now to the school year. Till the second half. So for a memorable moment at Apopka, I wanted to film in front of the SJA building. Um, just because... I feel like it is um, one of the things that I'm most proud of that I got to be a part of at the school. So being president of SGA was one of the best things that I ever got to do. So, um, and I am proud and honored every time I get to be in here. So, love SGA. Um, so here's the second half of all my video diary questions. Um, what plans do I have for next year? I plan to go to um, Southwestern Seminary, which is in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, I'm going to go to their undergrad college and um, start my bachelor's degree in arts and humanities and possibly pick a minor and all that fun stuff. So, What was the hardest thing about the last four years? Um, probably just like the grind of school, like getting up every day, doing the same thing, being involved in sports and clubs and stuff that just kind of take up your time and they're really fun but they make you tired so just the grind of like no sleep and doing it day in and day out um what advice do i have for underclassmen um to underclassmen i would just say to stay engaged um with your teachers with your friends to like melon says wherever you are be there um and just to take advantage of the time that you have now um because you'll never get these days back um so make these days the best days um whatever days you're living in what was your most memorable moment from high school um, I 
actually, I would say probably for like just me personally and not having to do with a lot of other people or my family, um, my most memorable moment happened this year um, when I sang in the senior talent show and I actually won um, and it was just funny because it was really, really unexpected and um, it was really fun. So when I won the senior talent show, that was, that was a good moment. Um, what's something I learned in high school that I did not learn in the classroom? Um, something I learned in high school I didn't learn in the classroom, but I would say that I learned from people um, at the school, people in my life, teachers and stuff, um, would be that more than anything that um, the people around you mean more than grades, mean more than um, your reputation and mean more than really anything that we kind of pursue right now that the people around you um, are significant and they deserve your time and attention more than social media and all the things that distract us um, that the people around you are the most important thing um, what are you going to miss about high school um, probably just all of it honestly the kind of community and the competition and the camaraderie especially all the teachers that I've gotten to know and love and my friends and um, you know because my dad has worked here since the year I was born so just and I know a lot of these teachers and have anticipated these four years so just missing everybody that makes up a popka. Um, what was the stupidest thing I did in high school? Um, that's kind of a hard question. I don't really know. Um, honestly, the stupidest thing I probably did was put too much pressure on myself to get all A's and good grades and keep a 4.0 and take AP, AP classes because um, that sometimes came in the way of, um, you know, like enjoying myself. Looking back, I don't regret it, but at times it was stupid of me. Um, if you could go back and change anything that happened in high school, what would it be and why? Um, I think I would change a few of my classes. Um, I know I, I wish I would have taken Euro um, and uh, possibly tried Calc, made myself try Calc or AP Stat or um, just take some more classes with some other teachers, maybe some more like fun electives and stuff. Um, change, change the classes that I took maybe. Um, who's the teacher will remember most and why? Um, I would say probably it's a split between Mr. Peters and Mr. Hooverus. Um, both of them have um, really poured into me as a person just in my life and they've really cared about me and always invested in believing me as a leader and given me um, responsibility and given me um, roles and they've just been very influential. I've loved like just working with them. Um, they're great people and um, they really love their students, so I'd say Mr. Peters and Mr. Hoover's just for the way that they've loved me and the way that they love people um, and their kids. Where do you think you'll be in 10 years as you get ready for your 10 year high school reunion? Um, this is probably very similar to what I said um, in my previous video diaries, but um, my guess in 10 years I'll be 28. Um, I would hope to be married, um, maybe a kid or two. Um, <laughs> and working at a church somewhere or just in ministry. Uh, I want to go into Christian ministry, so just somewhere serving Jesus, loving my family, um, loving people. Anything like that would be wonderful. Um, okay, so the DNN questions. What was your most memorable moment from DNN? Um, of all the years. Um, I would say I probably got to go back to that that time in um, last year's DNN when we did the Halloween broadcast and Hutch had the hot sauce on his face. But that was last year, so I feel kind of lame. This year we had a lot of a lot of fun people in class and just laughed a lot. But honestly, the moments all kind of they all kind of run together because it's just a lot of laughter. So just laughing with this year's class um, and that what happened with Hutch so what was the funniest thing that happened from the DNN that's a hard question too um, uh, 
just like all the things that have happened with Arnold have been really funny and me and Scale that's kind of just been like an inside joke where if we're either of us like see it or laugh about it like we just kind of look at each other like when he takes a lot of takes or when he asks us how it goes and it's kind of awkward or I know that time we did the pledge on live and Byron did like that floss dance in the background just all the stuff with Arnold this year between and then like the shared looks between me and Scahill have been really funny um what is one thing that Scahill said and did in class um this year the funny thing I would say is um his whole relationship with Jake and Jackson is really funny I like Jake wants to hug him and Scahill's just like stop touching me and Jackson just wants to be like his best friend and sometimes Scahill likes them both but sometimes it's like, please, please leave my office. So his relationship with his students is funny to watch, specifically Jake and Jackson. Who do you want to thank? Um, I would want to thank my, um, my family and my friends, um, all the people that kind of have made me me, um, all the teachers that have poured into me, my parents, my mom, my dad, my siblings, um, and yeah all my friends a lot of my people at church that probably never see this but have been just really faithful friends to me um just making me a better person and you know being loyal and being my people all these years um and then ultimately i would just want to thank jesus um because he's kind of helped me and kind of he's very much been the foundation and the um you know the backbone of my life and has been the filter by which I've done a lot of things in high school and just looking back on my high school years he's kind of enabled me to have taken advantage of all of them and to look back and not have regretted anything really and that I was able to love the people around me because of the way that he's loved me so I just am thankful for Jesus um, and all my people um, how do you want us to remember you um I guess that's kind of kind of be an arrogant question by by answer by anybody but I guess if I could like pick how people remembered me um, I would want people to remember me as being kind um, as loving Jesus and loving people well um, being funny um, just being nice to people um, being a loyal and good friend just in overall just that I, if I'm remembered that I loved people well and that caused people to understand my love for God, that would be um, the best thing that, that I could ever hear, that I, a legacy that I left behind. So that's it for me. Video diary, there are nine weeks. So the first question, what was the best thing that happened in 2017? would be winning states for the second time because I did it 2016. What was the worst thing that happened in 2017 was nothing really bad happened in 2017 so I'm not going to save for that. How is the school year, how is school going this year? Is going easy? I'm just being really lazy. How are your holidays and what was one thing happened, what was one thing that happened to you that was a good thing? How were your holidays, and what was one thing that happened to you that was a good thing? Okay, Scahill, um, it'd be winning states. Okay, what do you do for New Year's Eve? I got really drunk. Like, I was off some shit. What was the best song of 2017? What was the best movie of 2017? The best song would be any song by SZA, and what was the best movie would be The Shape of Water, because I really like it for some reason. What plans you have for summer of 2018 is... Getting a job, fucking bitches, and smoking a lot of weed. Big three. And then if you will not be at Apopka High School, where would you be? As of right now, like as of this day, I'd probably be at Wakaiva High School. But after high school, Apopka High School would probably be like the police academy or something like that. And number 10, what is going to be the hardest thing to do between now and the end of the school year? Would be just going to school. I skip a lot of school, so this is really difficult. I'm just getting really lazy. But yeah, that's the video diary. So this is my DNN's, not, well, junior spotlight questions. The video diary final from my junior year. 
Today's April 20th, 2018. It's like 10.30. So I'm going to just answer these questions for you, Mr. Skeho. Probably just going to move around my room because you want five shots. But what plans do you have for next year? Well, next year I'm going to be doing, doing dual enrollment and um, basically getting college shit ready for to get my the degree I want in. To get the degree I want. Was what was the hardest thing about the last three years? Not letting things um, get me out of track. Like for example, bowling, it would take like we have like five hour practices, and then you'd be home drained. Your right, your either arm you bowl with is being totally sore and just tired, and you just want to have like a mental day because bowling is more of a mental sport. But not having things get out of the way was the most important which is being in school what advice do you have for underclassmen stay focused just do what you gotta do and leave and then basically just best to make make the best of your time after school with studying and such and focusing on your grades because that really does matter what was your most memorable moment from high school um sophomore and then including this year being my jun junior year winning states also, getting a new ring, which I'll show you right about now. Okay, so this is the new one. This is the new one. This is what I just got. And then my one from last year, which is still a nice ring, but you know, this one's obviously better. It's a newer ring. This one is more of a fat ring. This is humongous on my hands. It looks like this. I look like a, a baller brand. I actually look like a thug. And this one meant to fit my finger. I'll thumb me also. But yeah, these are my rings I got for bowling, which makes it my most memorable moment. So, what is something you've learned in high school that you didn't learn in a classroom? lose friends you lose connections to people that you really don't benefit from kind of just like i don't know fizzles because i mean you don't benefit anything out of the friendship so honestly losing friends is a pain in the butt but it benefits at the end so toxic friends you really don't benefit from just moving on from them is moving on from this something that i didn't learn in the classroom what am i gonna miss about high school obviously bowling because this is the best bowling team in high school history ever there's no other team like us. There never will be another team like us. And that'd be something I really miss a lot. Um, I'd miss... Skahill honestly picking on me probably the most. See, I mean, he doesn't do it out of hate. It's just all jokes. I mean, it's always fun. And what was the stupidest thing you did in high school? Honestly, I don't really remember. It sounds like stupid jokes, but other than like Nothing serious that got me in trouble. Like, a joke would be like... Call it like misspelling Scahill's name out loud in the classroom during my sophomore year. That'd be one. If you go back and change anything that happened in high school, what would it be? The amount of times I. Sp what would change it be? Kind of like not studying over the weekend or certain when I get home, or like I just get home, nap, and then school is just out of my system. Like I don't do anything for this today, which is bad because. You lose focus, you lose the intensity you had, like, being, like, the, the grind to push and be better, which is, I lost freshman year, sophomore year, I was getting in, junior year, I'm just, like, straight out, I know what I want to do with life, and I just got my goals set and prioritized. So, who is the teacher you will remember most and why? I say, I mean, with obvious, kind of obvious, but obviously being Mr. Skate he makes learning actually fun, and learn life lessons in a low-key way like he doesn't like tell you like life that's just like stuff you just learn like having to get a job on the dnm was hard but that's life you have to learn how to push through it and grow up and shit like that but shit like that obviously his memorable jokes and him yelling at jacob and jake and then yeah pretty much it would just be scale just for just because of the way he is what do you think you'll be in 10 years as you get ready for a 10-year high school reunion? 
10 years, I will be still in the police force. Hopefully, like, higher up, like, FBI, SWAT, CIA, and just, like, not, like, bullshit stuff, but, like, traffic stuff. Like, I want, like, the real stuff, like, you, like, get, like, the real bad people, like, terrorists. Like, I want to be, like, that type of person when I grow up in 10 years, so. Hopefully, in 10 years, I will be doing that. Having a huge family. And stuff like that, just growing up. My most memorable moment from the DNN class would be Jake, I mean not Jake, Jacob cursing in front of the administrator behind his back, like dropping an F-bomb, which is really funny. I think that goes for question, what is your most, Luna, shush, shush, Jesus. Most memorable moment from the DNN class would be, yeah, Jacob's cursing, and then the funniest thing that happened in the class would be also Jacob cursing. Let me show you why I'm telling you to shut up. Luna! Be quiet, little girl. Golly, I'm trying to make a video. So, what is one thing Skehel said slash did in the DNN class? Would be the funniest thing. Not oh, funniest, what is one thing Skehel did in the DNN? Just yell at Jake. Jake, Jake, Jackson, and Jacob for being very annoying and sometimes, but you know, that's with them. Who, who do you want to thank? I want to thank myself. Um, obviously my parents, or, uh, like my... the family bullshit, but really just myself. Obviously a close friend. Which is also in your class. And how do you want to be remembered? <sighs> the kid that, I don't know, just did what he wanted to do and didn't care about people's judgment. Because at the end of the day, it's just you and no one else. So I want to be remembered as a kid who did whatever he wanted and never faced the repercussions for it. I don't know if it makes sense, but you know, just go with it. Anyways. I'm done at 11.16 p.m. or 20. Big doinks only, Skeho. Big doinks. My name's Helen. Today's date is 9, oh, September 29. Um, I'm a senior. School so far is okay. Um, my favorite song right now, I don't really have a favorite song actually. I listen to anything, well, most of the time. The last movie I saw would have to be Beauty and the, Be Beauty and the Beast. And it was such a good movie, like, it was really, really good. Um, the most memorable thing that has happened in the first weeks of school would have to be um, getting my acceptance letter to um, college. Um, what I look most forward to in the school year is graduating and like prom and all that. Um, I think the hardest thing about this upcoming school year would have to be, um, it would have to be keeping up with all my grades and like all my classes and stuff and getting to class on time and actually coming to school. Three goals that I have for the school year would have to be like keep my grades up and getting all A's and B's and maybe like keeping them straight A's or something. Um, coming to school on time and then I think that's it. My favorite fast food place would have to be, um, I guess it would have to be Dairy Queen. The oldest photo on my phone, um, I think it was with me and my friends and we were like back in middle school and I still have those pictures, surprisingly. The last time I laughed really hard, I can't even remember. Like, I don't know. I think the major school event that I would prob prob 
probably go to would be like prom because that's something I look forward to. The biggest change would have to be like, wow, like it's going to finally hit me that I'm graduating this year and all that. If I could describe my song, my life in a song right now, what would that be? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> I did, I did uh, answer everything. But like, how do you don't know? That's a song, you don't know that? So what's the song? It's called I Don't Know. That's the name of the song? Yeah, there's a song. You want to hear it? No. I'll pull it up if you want, if you want to listen so to it. So why does it relate to you? Huh? So because at, at this point in my life, I really don't know about, I really don't know what I'm going to do in my life. Oh, huh? but that's all you have to say. You're done. Okay. So I'm here standing next to my favorite place. Um, this is where, or well, sitting next to my favorite place. This is where me and my friends always hang out at. Um, one of the questions was, who was my, who are my favorite people? Um, these are my only friends, as y'all can see. I mean, they're probably only my favorite ones because they're my only ones. So there you go. And y'all get to say something. So we're Helen's Hi only friends. Hi. Yeah, they're like all friends too. Yeah. See. Hey guys. Um. So, I guess this is my final video diary. Um. It's current. Well, I can't tell you the current time. Just know, I'm procrastinating at its finest. Um. Where do I spend most of the time? Um. I spent most of the time working actually throughout the whole school year I was working a lot um but I would I would have filmed it there but I don't work there anymore and I'm trying to avoid going there so yeah um where will I be in 10 years in 10 years um I don't know, in 10 years, I guess I expect my career to have already taken off. Um, maybe even a family, you know. Who knows? I only time can tell, I guess. Anything can happen. Um, best memory of the last year. Um, it would have to be prom. I went to prom, and that was pretty fun, I guess. That's the only thing I actually did. And excuse my voice. I'm losing my voice, actually. I'm really sick right now, so yeah. Um, who was what is the most memorable teacher and why? Um, I don't think I have a most memorable teacher actually. I just went into class and did my work. That's about it. Um, well, no, I guess I did have a memorable teacher actually. It was Mr. Mogul, the um athletic teacher um there was this one time where <laughs> me and my friend had left to go eat get some tacos and we called him said telling him like oh if we bring you some tacos would you like mark us like that we were here like present and he said yeah he agreed to it and we brought him tacos and yeah it was pretty lit <laughs> um what was the most or did you had any conflicts with your teachers? I didn't have any conflicts with my teachers this year, actually. Or, you know, every everything was just pretty smooth, you know, just a, how it's supposed to be. Um, What was the most memorable moment that happened in this film TV class? I don't think, I don't really think anything memorable happened. <laughs> um... What was the best film movie video that we saw in this class? I would have to see I would have to say, um Damn, I forgot the name of it. I think I have a paper here. Um hmm, interesting. Never mind, I don't have the paper. Um, 
I think it was called um, Ride with the Wind or something like that. I don't know. I forgot the name of it. But anyways, what is the one thing you remember that Scale said or did this year? Um, I just find it funny how he he would like every time the principal would come on the intercom, he would get so mad. He's like, "Do we really have to listen to him?" That's so funny. Um, what would be your dream job after you graduate from high school? I would actually like want to work as a bank teller. I just recently found out that you only need your high school diploma for that. I honestly thought that you needed like to go to college for like a certain amount of like years or something to be a bank teller. So, fun fact actually. <laughs> um if you could describe your school year in one song, what would the song be? I honestly don't really know what song I would use for that. Um, invite your favorite person to be in your video. Oh, well. What is one major thing that you learned that you did not learn in a classroom? Um, I learned that not everyone is your friend. They could say they're your friends, but, you know, things happen and then, you know, you end up finding out who your real friends are. I guess it takes, like, tough situations for you to find out your real friends are um is there anyone at ahs you would like to thank who and why i would just like to thank thank all the teachers that i've had these past four years um y'all were great and um thank you for always pushing me to do better to come to school because i would barely come to school <laughs> um hmm wrap it up how do you hope to be remembered i would really hope to be remembered as a very happy person um even though you know sometimes i wouldn't really be happy but you know everyone has their days and i would just like to be remembered as a happy person i guess well that's all high school has been a long ride a very long ride actually but yeah i guess I'm here. I'm graduating, doing things that people doubted me to do. So, yeah. Bye. This is the parking lot or loop that you would come to if you are late to school and you will walk right into the administration building to sign yourself okay. in. To get into this office, you just come to this side door right here, and press this button. These will be the front desk you come to for assistance if you need any. Yeah. You'll probably have to get this here in that part to see how you can Right out into the courtyard and go to class. Hi, I'm Henry Barber. This is my video diary for my senior year 2018 at Apopka High School. Uh, the first question is best thing, what's the best thing that happened in 2017? Uh, the best thing that happened to me was I finally got to senior year. I've been waiting for that for three years and it seemed like it was taking forever and I thought I would never get there, but here we are finally at the end of the year, about to go into the fourth quarter and be done soon. Uh, the second question is, what was the worst thing that happened in 2017? Uh, nothing bad really happened. It was a pretty good year. I don't have anything to complain about, really. Um, the third question is, how is this school year going? Um, this school year is going great for me. It's been the best year that I have had so far. I only have four classes, so it's super easy. I just got to focus on those classes, get them done, and my grades are pretty great in those because I have so little classes. Uh, the fourth question is, how were your holidays? What was one good thing that happened? Uh, my holidays were good. I got to see family, so that kind of counts as a good thing because my grandparents recently moved to Gainesville away from Apopka. They used to live in Apopka, so I got to see them again after them moving. Um, the fifth question is, what did you do New Year's Eve? Uh, I didn't do anything. I was just chilling, I think. Um, nothing really special. Uh, the sixth question is, what was the best song of 2017? Um, I think God's Plan was released in 2018, so 
Uh, I'd have to say... I don't know. I'm going to stick with God's Plan because that's the best song of the past five years. So, you know. <laughs> the seventh question was, what was the best movie of 2017? Um, it's Bright. It has Will Smith in it. It was on Netflix. They, re they released it. It was a Netflix premiere or whatever. Uh, it's called Bright, and it was really good. It had Will Smith in it. I highly recommend you go watch it because 10 out of 10. Um, number eight is, what are your plans for summer 2018? Um, this summer, since I'll be done with high school and going to college at Seminole State, I'll probably be looking to get my own place out there and continue grinding at work to get this money. And I'm going to finally start living my life this summer because I'm finally out of high school. Um, number nine is, if not at APK, where will you be? Mm. Uh, the ninth question is, if not at Apopka High School, where will you be? Um, I'll be going to Seminole State in Sanford or Lake Mary, so I'll probably be living in the Altamont or Lake Mary area, somewhere around there. I won't be living in Apopka anymore. Um, and the tenth question is, the, what will be the hardest thing to do now in between the end of school? Um, that will be actually go to school and finish the year with good attendance because senioritis is real. And it takes over your life, and you don't want to go to school at all for anything. And if your grades are straight, I mean, you're straight. But, yeah, that'll be the hardest thing is to actually go to school. Uh, those are the ten questions. Uh, that's the end of my video diary. I'm Henry Barber. This is my video diary for the spot in the school that always gives me a memory. And the spot in the school that always gives me a memory is where I'm at right now is in the student parking lot. Um, for the first three years, I would always be in this student parking lot trying to leave somehow and the guards would always be watching me and on my ass about leaving and not letting me leave some days and letting me leave other days. But this year they finally let up. They didn't care what I did anymore. I, started, I came to school late every day. They knew that. Um, they weren't on me as much. They don't really care this, this year if I leave or not. But the first three years, they gave me the hardest time ever. They would not let me leave for nothing. And even when I offered to bring them back stuff, they still wouldn't let me leave. But yeah, walking through the parking lot every day makes me remember how much they used to hate me actually. But now we're all cool. My name's Henry Barber. Um, these are my last 15 questions in my video diary for high school. Uh, the first one is, what plans do you have for next year? Uh, next year, I'm going to college at Seminole State. Uh, I'll probably do that for two years and then maybe go over UCF. I don't know yet. And I'll continue working next year, obviously. Um, the next one is, what was the hardest thing about the last four years? It was definitely going to school and staying consistent in all my classes, making sure you're staying on top of everything, you know, like passing everything. And obviously, going to school was hard this year, especially. Um, the next one is, what advice do you have for underclassmen? Um, I would say work hard early so you can chill later on in your high school career. Work hard freshman, sophomore, kind of junior year, and then you can chill your senior year, definitely. That's what I did. My senior year was definitely the best and most chill year of my high school career. Uh, next question is, what was your most memorable moment from high school? Um, I think it would be finally finishing. I thought this would never come to an end. Like, f freshman and sophomore year, I never thought I'd get here to where I am right now. And that is, I'm basically graduating. Today is my last exam that I have to take, and then I'm basically done. And I feel like that'll be my most memorable moment because I finally did it, and it took forever, but I finally got there, and it feels good. Oh, uh, the next question is, what is something you learned outside the classroom? Um, uh, I would say make the most of the opportunities that you get put in front of you. Um, everyone's life is different, so I don't know what opportunities you'll face, but you got to make the best of them because it could be the only opportunity you have to do something and just make the best of it and enjoy. That's really it, man. Uh, the next question is, what are you going to miss the most about high school? Uh, probably seeing people every day, but like, 
I'm not really going to miss that much about it. It's kind of a hassle right now. But seeing people every day that you're used to seeing be just because y'all go to the same school and that's how it is and that's how it's been for the last four years. But um, not seeing them every day and like everyone going on to their own lives will kind of be different. But I'm excited for it. Um, the next thing is what is the stupidest thing you did in high school? Um, I'm not going to say it, but Skayhill knows. He makes fun of me every, like, he made fun of me till the end of, till right now. He made fun of me yesterday for it, ever since it happened. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to say it, but Skayhill knows what I'm talking about. Um, the next question is, if you could go back and change anything about high school, what would it be and why? I wouldn't really change anything. It was kind of fun. I enjoyed it. And if you change one thing, you kind of change multiple other things. So, like, I really wouldn't change anything. If I could, though, I would give myself some bad female for the whole four years. That would have been fun, but it didn't happen because that's how Pop is. Um, the next question is, what, who is the teacher you'll remember the most? Um, Scahill, obviously, because I've had him since freshman year. And I don't know. We just have a lot of memories together. I spent my whole high school career in that class, so he's seen me go from incoming freshman to graduating senior, and I think that's kind of cool to experience that with a teacher. Um, the next question is, where do you think you'll be in 10 years as you get ready for your, your high school reunion? Whoa, 10 years? I'll be 28? I don't know. Hopefully, I'll be in a good spot, because 28 is getting to the age where you need to be in a pretty good spot so i don't know we'll see what opportunities present themselves and uh we'll go from there but hopefully i'll be in a good spot pulling up to my high school reunion in a nice car or something like that but we'll see as we get there but uh those are the 10 questions for my video diary What was the best thing that happened in 2017? Best thing that happened in 2017? Um, getting on acne medication and dyeing my hair blonde. What was the worst thing that happened in 2017? Dyeing my hair black and getting acne. How is school going this year? Bad? Good? Um, pretty <laughs> bad. I have to be like homeschooled next year except for electives so yeah how are your holidays and what was one thing that happened to you that was a good thing holidays let's see christmas um, Thanksgiving. Oh. halloween i um i i i don't i stayed at my house and i gave the little kids candy um, and my night was going really good, or it was going mediocre, and then my ex-boyfriend brought his girlfriend to the, to my house. What did you do New Year's Eve? Mm, went to sleep. What was the best song of 2017? Gucci Gang. Definitely not. Best song of 2017 was... I don't know, probably some Ed Sheeran song. What was the best movie of 2017? Um, wait, what's my number one favorite? No, it's my number two. Lady Bird. I love Lady Bird. What plans do you have for summer of 2018? Uh, <laughs> nothing, probably, yeah, nothing. Probably getting started on, like, school. If you will not be at a Popka High School, where will you be? Like, uh, oh, home? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What is going to be the hardest thing to do between now and the end of school? Mm, past geometry. This is where I fainted. This area right here is where I fainted in the beginning of 10th grade because uh, I have like a killer period. <laughs> so it like ripped my insides apart. So what do you have right now? Nothing. Nothing.